Hey YouTube, I hope everyone's having a really good Monday. I figured I'd do this because I did have a lot of requests and I have gone so far, it's like four o'clock. I've gone this far in the day without any eye makeup or otherwise on. So, but I'm gonna do a little, just not really a tutorial. Like I say, when I do these, I'm not really good at, I don't have a camera that zooms and I'm not good at, I'm just not really good at explaining totally how I do stuff, um, especially when you can't really see that detailed. But I'm going to show you what I did and explain to you how I wore my makeup in the last video in the past couple. Because this look has been one, primarily I'm showing you guys what was on my eyes and my lips in my previous video. But as for my face, this is kind of what I've been doing too and I had a lot of questions about that in my comments. And this is kind of how I've been wearing my makeup for past couple weeks. Just really easy and when I need to get ready in a hurry, this is how I've been doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. I don't have, I know I kind of look like a dork right now with these sunglasses like this, but they're keeping my hair back. And I I just have been a total bum today. I did a little bit of a workout and then I ran a Target and ran some errands and kept my sunglasses on the whole time. So I'm going to do this video, get this done, and then hopefully I'll have time to do a haul. But first thing is I'll let you know that I did have foundation on. So I went out with foundation on my skin is I'm having some breakout stuff. I used a tinted moisturizer from Hourglass Sample and I loved it on. It looked so good on and it just, I think it broke me out really bad because I've had a couple, like a whole patch right here and um, kind of some right here where I don't normally get them and whatever. I'm kind of sad about it because I like that sample but let's just get into it. So I have my Chanel Matte Lumiere on my face. Um, what I've been using for concealer, sorry I keep looking down. Where did I put my makeup bag? Uh, I don't have, do I have some concealer on now? I think I have some of my Hourglass concealer on. So I just have some of this warm on and I didn't do a whole lot. In my video yesterday, I had on one of a new um, Chanel pro or a new Dior product that I got and I'll show you guys that in the haul. It's kind of like an illuminator type thing, like a pen, sort of like the Tushy Clot. So I'll show you about that, but as for right now, I'm just... This isn't going to be a real, I don't know, intense face tutorial. I mainly just want to show you what I had on my eyes, but I'll do my face while we're at it since people were asking. So after I put my Matte Lumiere on and um, just a little bit of concealer, then I just take my Chanel, or, yeah, my Chanel, what's it called, Double Perfection Natural Matte Powder in Sun Beige, and I either use this really gross uh, sponge, which I need a new one, or I just use this brush and kind of set my foundation. So this is kind of how I've been doing it. The only face, I just brought two face brushes down. Um, this is a Sigma SS138. It's like that one that's kind of like a dome. It's a little bit dirty and kind of spread out right now. And then I have my MAC 109 that I use mainly for my blush. So dirty also. But whatever. So that is what I do. I just put my foundation on, a little bit of concealer, and set it. On my eyebrows right now, I I had the Dior eyebrow pencil on yesterday. Right now, this is just my crappy green Maybelline colored one. Um, it's in like the green tube. It's It does the job like when I'm in a hurry and I didn't want to use that Dior one today because I was just running the Target. So I just have the Maybelline one on, but I don't like it because it doesn't stay very long. And considering I draw most of my eyebrows on, um, I need something that's going to stay. So that's what I've been doing. Just setting that gives a little bit um, more coverage, I guess, and kind of sets the foundation. And then I've been using lately my NARS Casino. That's what it looks like. It's kind of beat up, but I just have been taking the Casino. And then I'll just kind of do this on the perimeter of my face. I'll do it where I normally contour, but I do take it a little bit of everywhere. I tried Laguna on the other day in Sephora because I thought maybe I'd like it, but didn't really look very good on me. I got a second opinion from the girl that worked there too, and she said the same thing. She said to stick with Casino. I wanted it to work though, because like, I don't know. I just want both of them. <laughs> so I kind of do put this everywhere. You can see, I just like... Bronze my whole face up with it kind of ends up matching my body a little bit more. I don't put any self tan or anything on my face because I don't want to break out. So like I used the past three days in a row, not last night, but 
I think Wednesday, Thursday, Friday maybe, I use the, or not night, I actually use it in the morning for three days, the St. Saint Tropez Saint Gradual Tan. So I won't use it on my face, no way. So this ends up just, you know, doing it everywhere, kind of bronzes my face up. You can see I match a little bit better. And then I usually go in with my Bobbi Brown to do a little bit more contour work with the deep. This is number four. It's really, really dark. Almost has like a reddish kind of hue to it, but it is a very dark color. In fact, when I bought it, the makeup artist the Bobbi Brown was like, are you sure you want that one? And I was like, yeah, I'm sure. But anyways, get that on my brush, and then I do, I always like a contour, you know, day to day I usually contour my face. I know that for some people it's like they're going out sort of thing, but I always like a bit of a contour because you can tell I have sort of a round face um, or a full face, and I just like a little bit of extra. Sometimes I'll squeeze it and do one of these. You can see where I'm putting it though, just like right under the cheekbone. And there's a lot of really great detailed videos on contour and highlight and all that stuff. I just make sure I hit my temples just a bit on each side and kind of blend it upward. And then I always take it down and like do kind of to about there on my jawline. And then I'll like kind of brush off my brush a bit and then and blend everything together. So that's it with just my bit of contour. And then for blush, I've been using this Lorac, and I raved about this last weekend, Hollywood. So this is their Baked Matte Satin Blush. And I'm tempted to go buy Exposed today. We will see. So that is that color. And I just use my MAC 109. That's something that you have to like kind of tap off the fallout on because it picks up a lot of product and you don't want to although if you do I don't I don't find that I have to be extremely light-handed with this blush but I'm sure people with lighter skin tones would have to could it because it is more of like a deeper rose gold type color um but I just put this or I've been putting it right kind of blending it with my contour and right on my cheekbone And I try not to come in too far. I've just liked coming in just a bit and concentrating it right here. I'll go up a teeny bit, but I don't like to go up too, too much. One thing is, sometimes you have to make sure you get your ears with the bronzer because they can end up being a lot lighter. My ears don't ever really stick out though, so it doesn't matter that much but something to think about. With this blush brush, sometimes you can just like pat it on. I feel like I get a little bit better of like product into my skin and then I'll blend lightly. I don't ever push really hard. Like when I'm putting this on, I usually keep it pretty light on my skin. Like it might look like I'm pushing hard, but I usually just keep it really lightly Whatever the word I'm looking for is, I can't think of it. And then I'll pull it down just a bit into my contour. So that is what I've been doing for my contour, bronzer, and blush lately. I haven't been, I didn't have any highlight on, other than this blush has a bit of a sheen to it, but I didn't have any highlight on yesterday, except for that Dior pen. So I'm going to show you guys that, 
And I can even do a video where I show you how I used it or, and how the Girl It's For used it on me. And I'm absolutely in love with it. So that might be something that will be coming up. But my face is pretty much done. Sometimes I'll go in with like another brush, like a big brush and kind of blend it all. You might want to use separate brushes for all this. I just grabbed these two to be really quick and simple. All right, I'm going to do my eyes now. I think one thing that's really crucial for my eyes is this Lay and Low, brush hair, Lay and Low Paint Pot by MAC. I checked, I got it at a CCO. I just used my finger, by the way. I got it at a CCO before, and I actually was there the other day, and I checked, and they don't, they didn't have any other paint pot other than antiqued. So I was hoping for some reason that it might be there again, but it was so long ago that I got it. But it's one of my absolute favorite paint pots. You can see my eyebrow has disappeared. So I hate this eyebrow pencil. The eyebrow is basically just gone. So I'm gonna have to be right back. Okay, this is the pencil and it sucks, so don't buy it. But <laughs> I'm using it right now because I just, I bought that Dior Universal one and it's great. I just feel so apprehensive to use it for some reason. Like I went into Sephora to buy my usual Lancome one and somehow got talked into or coerced into buying the Dior one because the Dior reps were there and it's awesome but I just feel like it's not as easy as my Lancome one like it doesn't have a I'll show you guys in my haul I'll just worry about that later but I just feel like it's not as portable or not as low maintenance is that Lancome just regular pencil so I don't know I might end up going to buy the pencil too now this Lay and Low paint pot, I already put it on, I think, both eyes, right? MAC paint pots keep the product on the longest for me. I mean, they're just the best primer for my skin tone, my skin type. They work the best for me. So this is the color that I love. I don't know if you can find it, but it's perfect. It's my skin tone, so on someone who's really light, it might end up looking a little bit brown or tan. But for someone medium darker, it might be a really good base for you. So that's the paint pot. And then so simple what I've been doing with my eyes. All I've been doing is using Max Texture. And this is it. It's like an orangey. You guys see that? Like an orangey or brown. Okay, all I'm going to do is dip this Borghese brush. And this is just like one of those cheapo brushes in the Costco set that I really like. I, it's the perfect size. I'd like to have a little better quality one. Um, shape like this so if you guys know of any it's like one of those really kind of bigger fluffy brushes um, but it if you have this brush it, it's a 200 eye powder fluff brush and so all I do is just kind of put it in texture tap it off and I just put this basically <laughs> everywhere you'll see how I do it and it really it works for me I, I start it in the outer corner and it's so fast because this brush covers so much space for me. But I'm not really clean about it. Like I'm not very, I just kind of do it. You see what I'm doing. I just kind of put it everywhere. It works for me. It works with my skin tone. And I like a messier eye sort of. So it works for my style and my taste. I never have like a really... I never have like a really organized eye look. I mainly just like a sort of messier, smoky, um, how do I describe it? Like when I get my makeup done by my friend Hannah at MAC, sometimes I'll go and I'll say, just do my eyes or she'll, it won't be busy. The way I describe it, like when I get my makeup done by someone else, I tell them that I want obviously like warm tones and then I'll tell Hannah, make it like what do I say? She knows exactly how I like it. Make it, um, make it look a little bit like creepy and kind of like um, sleepy. <laughs> I think that's what I say. Like make it like a little bit reddish, browny, creepy toned eye and bring the color up pretty high towards my brow bone. I don't know how I described it to her the first time I did, but she got it and she like can do the perfect smoky eye how I like it but that's basically it like I like the color to go up higher 
and I mainly just use one color and it's this tex texture. So this is how I've been doing my eye for work. It's even work appropriate because it's really neutral on me. But I pull it in and I even get like in there. So couldn't be any more simple or simpler. I'm going to do the other eye real fast. If you want it more dramatic, you can always add like a, an outer V or crease color that's darker. And I would probably do that. I just haven't. This is just so simple and it looks, especially if you have blue eyes, max texture is like switch. All right, now that this is on messily, all I do is, and this is kind of funny, but I'm just gonna tell you the truth what I've been using. This broken Estee Lauder free gift thing that I got. Oh, there it is, it pulls out. And it's this quad. This is a really pretty color too. It's called Copper Penny. Hold on one second. Okay, I did this eye. Sorry, I keep getting interrupted, but what I'm doing is taking this color from this palette by Estee Lauder and it is called Sandbar Beige. It's like a matte cream color and I just get it on my brush. I've already done this to this eye. So all I really do is take it and run it kind of right under my brow bone and I go in the inside too and just kind of swipe it and blend. What's good is there's some texture on here already from you know putting that on my eye so it just it doesn't make it too light. I kind of press a little harder when I blend, but because I don't like a real light white highlight up there. I just like everything to be kind of cohesive and more like a gradient, but not too dramatic. But you can see that it just gives a little bit of pop of color. Sometimes I'll even take it and go in here just a bit. But that's it. So that's my eye look. I mean, really simple. You can use any type of kind of beige matte color, but I really like this. I actually might get it in the full size. Um, what did I say it was called? Estee Lauder number 50 Sandbar Beige. So that's awesome. And then this is MAC Texture. So that's the only two eyeshadows that are on my eyes. Like I said, you can make it more dramatic with a crease color, but I kind of like it just like this. So sometimes actually I'll take my I'll take another brush, but since I only brought this one down, and I'll run it underneath my eyes a lot. And I keep this really messy too. Just gives that look of kind of unkept or, I don't know how to describe that look that I like. It's just that really like eerie sort of eye. It's like my favorite eye. And then it makes my blue and my eyes really pop. So that is my look and now I'm just going to put on my liquid liner. I might edit this out because I'm not, it's really hard to show liquid liner unless you're up close with a zoomed in camera and there's a ton of those tutorials but All right, I'm back. I did my eyeliner, um, just a winged liquid liner, and I'm trying to see if it was messed up there. Winged liquid liner and then some L'Oreal Telescopic. It's a little messy because it's running out and kind of glooping up, but I love this liner. It's cheap, it stays on me all day and all night. It's amazing. Um, I've had plenty of raves, I think, and favorites videos over the past few years with that liner. But my lips, um, hair is getting so <laughs> gross. Um, but my lips, as for yesterday's video, were Aqualip, um, Makeup Forever Aqualip 2C, I think. Yeah, 2C. I always call it 2N. I actually tweeted today and called it 2N, but this is my favorite lip liner 
for my skin tone, it's not too, too pink. Um, on some people, it might be pink, but it's like a pink nude. And it does, you know, it does the trick with most lipsticks that I wear. So yesterday, I had this on. And I just go on the outside of my lip. So that's it. What did I want to tell you guys? Oh, sometimes I color them in a little bit with it. So, okay, that's all. And then I used a little bit of Kat Von D Agatha. I love this by itself and I love it as sort of like a base for other lipsticks. So this is probably one of my all-time favorite lipstick colors. It's a pinkish nude. I was raving about creme, not creme de nude, I was raving about Innocence Beware today on my Twitter. And I'm swatching these next to each other and they're very, very similar. Very similar tones. In fact, Innocence Beware is a little bit more pink and a little bit glossier. Um, but those are beside each other. Agatha is right there, and Innocence Beware is on the bottom. You can see they have similar tones. Agatha is a little bit, let me do a heavier swatch. You can't even see Agatha that well, but you can see that um, Innocence Beware, they both have that like nude but pink tone, but it is, Innocence Beware is like more of a sheen. So, yeah, I love those two. They do remind me of each other, and they look good together. But I'm going to put Agatha on, and I just kind of press it into my lips. It's more of a matte color, and I wear it a lot by itself with this lip liner just like this. It doesn't have much sheen to it, but it has a little bit of moisturization to it. But it's not like very, very moisturizing. So I feel like it is, it will be dependent on how your lips are as to how this kind of wears on you. If you have really dry lips, you might not like it as much. Um, I don't know, mine aren't entirely dry. So I'm trying to put this in the wrong box. It really works well for me. But after I use that, then I used a color that I got the other day at the CCO. And that is... Estee Lauder Pure Color Long Lasting Lipstick in Lotus Pink. And I love it so much. So that's what I was wearing in yesterday's video. And these are supposed to be long lasting, but it has like, it has a sheen to it. And it doesn't stay twisted up. That's the only thing. It kind of feels like so loose. Like if you touch it the wrong way, it twists down. So you have to like hold it steady when you put it on. But this is a baby pink color. And that's it. So that's what I was wearing in my video yesterday. Um, I love this color. This now is very moisturizing. At least on my lips it is. And it does last quite a while. So if I want more definition like around the outside of my lips, I'll go back in with this and just kind of like it doesn't get too dark, glides over the lipstick, so it's not like a real intense line. But doing that gives me just like a little bit more definition to my lips. So this is the makeup look I've been wearing. Um, besides this lipstick I got this the other day, so the lips aren't something I've been wearing, but this eye look I've been wearing it basically the whole month of January. Um, I want my eyebrows to be a little bit more Just look too thin. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Tweet me and Facebook me. You know, those are great ways to stay in contact and to communicate. And yeah, I hope this was helpful. Um, take these sunglasses out. My hair is just so, so dirty. It's really gross. <laughs> But this was the look I was wearing in my video yesterday, and um, 
I hope you guys like it and it was helpful and I know that I just really suck at these how I do my makeup videos but yeah I will talk to you guys soon